Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to share with you my May favorites and I am so happy that it's June. June is my favorite month of the year. It's my birthday month, so right off the bat, I love June. I love celebrating my birthday, that's always fun, right? <laughs> and um, I just love that everything is tapering off. All the sports and dance and all the kind of activities are kind of coming to an end. School's almost out, the weather is getting nice, and I'm geared up for the summer. So let me go ahead and show you some of my favorites for the month of May. And I'll start off with these earrings that I'm wearing, and I'll just show you more closely. I purchased them from a store in our local mall called Francesca's, which is kind of like a boutique store, and they have really beautiful jewelry, costume jewelry. These were $14, um, but I got them for half off, so they were only seven bucks, and I think they're really pretty. I'll go ahead and insert a closer picture so that you can see. I think they're really nice, they're really flattering, and they're very simple. So that was definitely one of my favorite. Another favorite accessory of mine is this really pretty bracelet that I received from a friend. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, our dog passed away back in March, and I think I only mentioned it the one time on my March favorite video. It's just been too hard to talk about. But um, anyway, our dog passed away, and a friend of mine got me this beautiful bracelet, and on it is on one little, side of the bracelet is a paw, is a little paw print and on the other side is a little heart and then it's just a really pretty beaded bracelet and I've been wearing it a, a lot I just it's just a constant memory of him and um, me and my daughters all have matching so it's really sweet it was a really nice gesture it's for the month of May here's the case that it came in and it just says forever collection and I just thought it was a really um, kind and thoughtful thing and I really love it and I love how it's made. The beads are like nice and heavy and durable and the band is nice and stretchy and it's just super cute. So that was definitely a favorite of mine and since I'm um, already on accessories, I'll show you one more of my favorite accessories. For Mother's Day, I received the Apple Watch and I have been wearing it so much. It's been a long time since I've worn a watch. I've just gotten used to looking at my phone all the time and I wasn't sure how much use I would actually get out of it. And the reason I really kind of wanted one of these watches is because it kind of works like the Fitbit. So it tracks your steps and it um, does your heart rate and it just does all of these things, which is wonderful. And it's, it's a constant reference. And I also just like always getting my messages, notifications, phone calls, because I have a hard time always having my phone with me. I have a tendency to forget it in my car or it's at the bottom of my purse and somebody's trying to call me and they're like, I've been messaging you all day. How come I haven't heard back from you? And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot my phone was in my car. Like I just don't even think about it. I'm just not that connected to my phone. So um, having the watch is great. And let me just show you my favorite part of this watch is the Minnie Mouse screen and she talks. Let's see if I can do this. Talk, Minnie. It's 11.17. Good morning. I love that. If that's all it did, seriously, I would be so happy. <laughs> like all day I'm checking it and I'm like tapping it so that Minnie can tell me the time. Sometimes I switch it up to Mickey. I'm a huge Disney fan if you don't know that already. And I'm having a great time with that feature of the watch. So this is a really nice gift from my family for Mother's Day. And it was way over the top. This is not a typical, traditional Mother's Day type present. It was just so kind and generous and I was really excited to receive it. So I've been wearing this constantly around the clock ever since I got it on Mother's Day and I'm loving it. So that is everything for accessories that I have this month. Um, I have a favorite candle. It's called Island Coconut. And I purchased this at Target, of course, because I love going to Target. I have many a Target haul, <laughs> and this candle just, it smells like coconut, vanilla. It's just such a nice tropical smell, and I don't typically like fruity tropical smells at all. That type of a scent, along with like really heavy florals, tends to give me a headache. But this is like a soft tropical smell, and I love the coconut smell in it. It just reminds me of being on the beach. It kind of has that suntan lotion smell to it a little bit. I don't know what it is about this candle, but I really, really like it. It's a soy candle, and it's by Signature Soy. 
And again, the name of it is Soy Coconut, and um, it was from Target. And I actually got it on the clearance rack at Target the clearance rack at Target, it was like $7 and change. So for a big size candle like this that I'm sure is gonna last probably the whole summer, that was a really great deal. Yankee candles can be so expensive, so this was a really nice alternative to that. Alrighty, so I have a kitchen item that I picked up at Michael's Craft Store, and it's the ceramic egg holder. It's by Ashland, and I'm actually getting a lot of use out of this. I make hard boiled eggs usually once a week and I make approximately 6 to 12 just depending on, I kind of, whatever I have left over from the week, I'll hard boil and then I'll buy another pack when I go grocery shopping. So it's just kind of like whatever the difference is, those will get hard boiled and then I'll get new ones. And I never really had um, a place to put them. I would just put them back in the carton and write with a marker hard boiled on the, um, the egg carton. So now the kids know that when they're in this, they are hard boiled and ready to snack on or to have for breakfast or whatever. So I just keep this in my fridge and I put the hard boiled eggs in here once they're made. So I really think that this was a great investment for me. I just, I like staying organized. <laughs> so to me, this is like a great organizational kind of thing because everybody knows where the hard boiled eggs are. I don't have to write it on a carton anymore and it takes up a lot less space in the fridge. So that was definitely a favorite of mine for this month. Another favorite that kind of goes along with the kitchen category are these Brita um, bottle water filtration systems. So they're just water bottles that have a filtration system inside of them, which this is great for this time of year where people are traveling extensively. Last year we were on a cruise and I so wish that I knew about this and had one of these because I'm very apprehensive to drink any of the water either on the cruise ship or even on the islands that we go to, especially on the islands. Like, I really wish that I had something like this that I would have been able to fill up. They have them for children, they have them for adults. Um, I also mentioned this on my uh, Disney travel series that um, these are great to bring just to throw them in your backpack for the day or if you're going to the beach just to have them in your beach bag. So. I think these are wonderful. I found them on Amazon pretty inexpensively. So this is definitely a great find and something that you should always just keep in your beach bag, backpack, suitcase, uh, whatever. Just have it with you when you're traveling so that you always have fresh and safe water to drink. Another favorite of mine was something that I wanted a tricky tray. We actually had a tricky tray in the month of May and I won big. Like I never went in tricky trays, but this time I got really lucky and I love 31 products. They're just such great organizational bags and I have a ton of them. And of course I put a whole bunch of my Tricky Tray tickets in um, for a basket that was just like a whole bunch of 31 stuff and I won it. So included in that was this beautiful beach bag. And I absolutely love this beach bag. It's so big, it's so nice. I have one that I purchased a couple of years ago. It's super cute too. It has flip flops all over it and it has our family name on it. But I am loving this. And it has all of, like the starfish on it and the seashells. And to go along with it, they included this, um, it's the Cool Clip Thermal Pouch. And I love having this in addition to the beach bag because number one, check this out, they have this little clip on here, which is great for clipping like whatever, your water bottle, your keys, um, whatever you may have, or just to clip it onto the beach bag itself. These clips are great. And then when you open it up, it's thermal, so you can throw a couple of water bottles in there, um, you can put some snacks in there, and then, this is why I love 31, like they always have additional pouches and gadgets and things. It's never like just a plain bag. So in addition to the little clip, there's also a little flap on the front that you can maybe stick your cell phone in or whatever. So I love this. This is great. I'm really going to be enjoying this this summer. My next favorite is a book. And if you've been following me, you know I mentioned this book in all of my Disney videos for planning a Disney vacation. I've been reading this book all month. Um, I usually plan our vacation six to eight months in advance and I always start out um, with planning with this book because it's kind of like the consumer reports of Disney and it tells you everything that you need to know about Disney World and the parks and even Universal, SeaWorld, stuff like that. So um, 
even though I feel like I know everything about Disney, they always have great updated information in here, and it's just a good read on um, other people's experiences in the park. So this is called The Unofficial Guide. This is the Walt Disney World 2017, and I probably have nearly every year since, I don't even want to say, probably since like 2000 or whenever they first started coming out with the book. Um, it's by Bob Selinger and Len Testa. And definitely if you're planning a trip to Disney, uh, this is something that you should invest in. So that's really the only thing that I've been reading lately and that's the only reason I mentioned it. I'm not a big reader and I only um, really read things that are going to be like helpful to me in some way in regards to planning. Um, like I like the KonMari book, it just it helps me better my life in some way. Those are the types of books that I typically am geared to reading. So, alrighty, let's go on to some beauty products. So this Urban Decay Naked Palette, this is the Ultimate Basics, and I love the case. Um, I received this as a gift, and I have really been using it a lot. I love that it has this nice big mirror, and the colors on it are really nice. And I really, I use all of the colors. I kind of change it up a lot, and I even use this uh, dark powder as like a liner. And they're just really, really beautiful. Neutral colors, um, I really like them for the spring and summer months, and I've been using this a lot, so I really like this. Again, it's a Naked Ultimate Basics. So that has been a favorite for this month. Also, along those lines, I have been using these Sephora masks, and I actually received a bunch of these in my stocking this year, and they're so moisturizing. They smell wonderful. Um, they have a hand mask, and I have a couple of hand masks here. I have the, um, the aloe vera, and basically it's like a glove that you put on, and you just keep it on for a little bit and let your hands moisturize. Um, I also have the avocado. And then I have a couple of the lavender foot masks. And I've used these before in the past. I love getting these in my stocking um, or just as a gift in general. I don't shop very much for myself in um, regards to getting these types of things. Like I'll get myself a mascara when I run out of mascara or a liner or a lipstick or something like that. But just like more, I don't know, like luxurious items like bath bombs and body lotions and things like this, I don't typically buy for myself. So this was a really nice gift and I've been enjoying these. My other favorite of the month are these shampoo and conditioners, which are a little bit pricey. I really felt like I needed to up my game in the hair product department because I do very little with my hair and it's been getting like really dry and really frizzy and unmanageable. So the last time that I went to the hair salon, I said to the girl, you know what? I always just use like whatever is on sale at a drugstore and I think I need to get something better for my hair at least for a little while until it starts better behaving. <laughs> so this is the Pureology uh, shampoo and conditioner and this is the um, Hydrate and it's for colored hair. It just says serious color care and it really really has made a huge difference in my hair. And I never really believed that. I always just figured that well, shampoos and conditioners did the same thing, um, but they don't because <laughs> this stuff is really changing the nature of my hair. So I highly recommend if you have, like I have coarse, dry, frizzy, I have nothing nice to say about my hair. <laughs> I straighten it every day because it's, it's curly, but it's like not a nice curl. Like some people have these beautiful curls, but when my hair curls, it like curls in different directions and it's frizzy and it doesn't have like a constant flow to it. Like some areas might be straighter, some areas curlier. So I just straighten it every day. Um, so I really do need to take care of it with all of the heat on it and stuff like that. So this was definitely a good find. Alrighty. So I think we're down to my favorite sweets. So this is definitely a blast from the past. And a little disclaimer, I am not like, <laughs> A hostess cupcake and to donut you know tasty cake eating kind of person okay I'm really typically not not that I don't like my sweets because I do but um to me growing up those were the types of snacks we always had in the house like Twinkies and Ring Dings and Ding Dongs or whatever they're called and Devil Dogs and now I joke with my mom and I'm like I can't believe you used to 
feed that to us when we were little. Like that was our after school snack. I tried to give my children fruit or vegetables or yogurt after school and I was getting, you know, a Twinkie <laughs> and a soda. So anyway, times have changed. But this is like something that I always enjoyed growing up and I just can't get away from it because they still are so good. And these are the Tasty Cake Candy Cakes. They're just so, so good. It's like, if you've never had it before, it's like a little vanilla cake with a layer of peanut butter covered in chocolate. And it's so good with like a whole glass of milk. This is my favorite, favorite treat of all time, really. And I hardly ever get it. And on Mother's Day, we were out and had to stop at the store. And I was like, you know what? It's Mother's Day. I'm gonna like really be bad and I'm gonna get these tasty cakes because I'm gonna have some. Well, see, they were two for six dollars, so I got two, and I still have one box left. I ate the other whole box. They got a little health, and it make you know they try to make it look a little healthy. It says 95 calorie, 95 calories per cake. So like, I don't know if you're supposed to feel good about that. <laughs> um, yeah, probably not, because I never eat one. I always eat two. But anyway, these are awesome. If you've never had them and you want like a little guilty pleasure, give these a try one day. And my other favorite are these little single serve crystal light packets. They're really good. You can get pink lemonade or just regular lemonade and they just have the single serve packets. So I especially like these when I'm on vacation, when I'm at the beach or if I'm in Disney or wherever I'm at. Sometimes the kids especially don't like just having clean bottled water all the time. So just to give it a little bit of added flavor um, when you're out and about, these really come in handy. So I have been enjoying these, and I think that is everything for favorites this month. Um, just to let you know, I am doing a giveaway, so if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it up above so you can check it out because a few of the items from my favorites are going to be included in the giveaway. So I really hope that you guys check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope to have you back again. Have a great weekend and take care. Bye.